Good evening, everyone. I'm Tyra Majors, anchor and reporter from Como 4. Tonight, I'm hosting the red carpet event, the pre-show event for the annual Celebrate the Market event. This is a very exciting night. This is a time for community members, market merchants, business owners, and residents who reside here at Pipe Place Market to celebrate the market, the people who make it what it is today. We have a great night ahead of us. I want you all to stick around at least until the programming is over. We have some great performances, some awesome people we're going to be talking to all night, and some live music. Okay, we thank you all for joining in and for tuning in at home. We're going to bring in our first guest, Joe Desimone. He is right here. I'm going to bring him into the camera. Hello, sir. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you very so much. So nice to see you. Let's let's stand right here next to the bronze pig. This right here is Billy. <laughs> Joe, how are you tonight? Fine, thank you. So, Joe, you have a lot of history with your family and the markets. You are the grandson of the owners from the 1920s. That's right. My grandfather started here in the 1920s, and he managed the market and was one of the owners. And then my father managed the market when he, my grandfather passed away and managed it until he became a public institution in 1974. So you're the perfect person to talk to, to just to kick things off. What do you... What do you remember, maybe from your childhood, your teenage years, about the market? The thing I remember about the market is the market is an oasis of opportunity. Because where else could people start their own businesses for 50 cents or a dollar a day and actually create a business that could support their families and their kids could stay in school and up getting a degree and go on to college or do whatever they wanted to? And the market is still that way today, where young people can start out down here creating a business or whatever they want, and then hopefully support their families. And uh, there's been a lot of wonderful institutions that have started down here, among them Starbucks. The first Starbucks is right here in the market. And so this market has generated a tremendous amount of jobs and a lot of uh, wealth for the greater Puget Sound area. What does it mean to you that some of those original market traditions have stuck around to today? I think the thing that means today is the fact that you've got people from all over the world who are coming here to the market to start a new life in a new country from their land of origin. And that that is so wonderful because it's people helping people that makes this market what it is. And probably the best thing about the market is not just the people who've worked here, but also the foundation, which brings help to people who are, have less fortunate and don't have the money to pay for health care, don't have the money to live in a nice house, don't have the food they need, don't have the, let's say, uh, child care that they need, and all the other wonderful services that this foundation and so I think I'm really proud about the market because this market does things that no other market in the entire United States does. And I think the foundation is the biggest thing they do. Thank you so much for saying that. Isn't Mr. Desimone great? But I'm not done with you yet. I like what you just said. A lot of people don't know about a lot of those resources that the market provides. So anything to add about that? How can the community come and help out and be a part of this? Well, I think the biggest single thing is the foundation has fundraisers every once in a while, like the Sunset Supper during the summer. So if people can come down and participate in the greatest party of the summer, which is a Sunset Supper here, and have wonderful music under the stars and so forth, eat wonderful food and wonderful beverages and so forth, that would be a big help because that's what this foundation needs, the support of the entire community to keep it going. And that's, that's, that's what I hope. Thank you so much for speaking with us, and we hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mr. Desimone, everybody. Can you believe that? His grandparents, generation after generation, had ownership in this market, 1920s. That was just great history right there to kick the evening off. We have some more guests here. Hello, how are you? Well, how are you? I love the tiara. Thank you, thank you. I have to add a little bit extra every time I do so. got to be extra. We're at an event. Introduce yourself. I'm Velma, and I'm the resource manager at the Market Commons. Velma, my great-grandmother's name was Velma. 
Yes, ma'am. I love that name because every Velma that I have ran across, they're very strong women, they're powerful, they're amazing, and so I hold it with pride. That was my grandmother's name as well, and so I carry it with pride. <laughs> I love that. I like you already. Okay, tell us, what makes the market special to you? The community. The, the closeness of everybody because everybody loves one another. They're there for one another. Whenever it's a situation where something's not going right or somebody needs that extra support, we're always here. And then because we're at the Market Commons, the resource slash community center, we're just here to kind of tie it all together to make sure they're getting the much needed resources and that support that they need. Absolutely. You're not the first person to mention the resources tonight. And it's interesting, the, the market is more than just fish and flowers and community. That's a big part of it, but there's a lot of resources. There's a lot of social services here. There's a senior center. There's, um, there's Heritage House, which is the uh, assisted living. There's the resource slash community center, the market commons. There's the food bank, senior center. There are so many different social services in the market that people don't know about because they're kind of hidden. And that's what the market commons is for because we're street facing down on Western to kind of tie that together. We're like a bus stop. Yes. And people stop there, they get the information they need, and we send them out into the world to go do the things that they need to do to be amazing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that information. And where can people go to find out some more information about the Market Commons? Yeah, they can go online at themarketcommons.org. They can go on our website, and we keep it up to date with the weekly reminders, calendars. They can also go on Facebook. We have a Twitter, <laughs> Instagram. So you can find us everything. So please feel free to check out themarketcommons.org. We have all the information. We're here to help. We love the community. We love the people. And we just want people to feel supported and, and know that they can come out and talk to us. Thank you so much for sharing that, Velma. Thank you, ma'am. It was so nice talking nice to meet you. Me. Have a good night. Nice. Yes, ma'am. You as well. Thank you. Isn't that great? The market has so many resources. They help out so many people. So get involved. As you just heard Ms. Velma say, the time is now. All right. We have someone. We have somebody else coming. And this is this is pretty cool. We've got one of the co-MCs here of the events. First, introduce yourself, gentlemen. Hi. I'm Ron Hippy, the auctioneer for the evening. Wow. And I'm Dre Anderson. I'll be your host. Well, first off, we're going to get to the, the, uh, the host stuff after, but your outfits are so fabulous. I, was this coordinated? Well, we did talk ahead of time that we were going to tux it up for the evening, make it special. Yeah, add the bow ties for flair. <laughs> you know, the pink, it is lots of flair. I love it. They are giving tonight. Tell us what people at home can expect while watching the programming tonight. Uh, what you can expect is a lot of appreciation for the market, the the people that make this market alive, that give it hope, that give it the goals. You, you'll, you'll learn about the different kinds of services that we offer here, and maybe, maybe you'll learn why some of us love the market so, so true and blue, like to our hearts. Can you give us a little snippet of why you love the market? Oh, man. So I love the market because it's a place where vendors and artists can all gather around and coalesce. We can trade ideas, we can trade goods, but most importantly, we can exchange positivity and a little bit of ad admiration as we're like pushing forward through these difficult times. Positivity, I love that. We all need it right now. And I wanna know more about this auction. What is gonna be auctioned off? Can you give us a little bit of a sneak peek? Yeah, well, it's not a live auction. It's a raise the paddle. It's a fun to need and uh, we're very excited. Um, and that's gonna be happening uh, about two thirds of the way through the program, both virtually and in the room. In the room, they'll use their cards Virtually, as you may know, you're going to text MARKET to 91999. So you don't have to be here to participate in that auction. You can do it from right where you are at home, whether you're watching on your laptop or your phone. Can you please mention that information again? That's right. Text MARKET to 91999. They'll send you a link, and the rest is very easy. And if you have any problems, there's a number to call on your lower third of the screen there. So uh, don't hesitate. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to talk about uh, regarding the event or your MC co-host duty? Absolutely. We are so excited that we can have virtual attendees plus in-person attendees. The last two years, of course, as you know, we've been virtual only, which is great. We can reach people like you, but we're super excited to be in person here as well. Love that energy. And I might just add, you will see some of the coolest outfits out here on the floor today. I mean... Yeah. 
yours included, people came out here really dressed to impress and to enjoy a little bit of sunshine together. Because when's the last time we got to do some of this, right? You're so right. You coordinated with the red carpet. No, that wasn't planned. <laughs> <laughs> thank you both so much, thank and you. good luck tonight. Thank oh, you thank you so portrait. much. Thank you. Appreciate nice you. To Blessings. Meet you. All right, you just heard it from them. They're MCs, co-MCs, two MCs. There's gonna be a whole lot of energy in here tonight. Now, I don't know if you all can see behind me, but the place is flooded with people. Thankfully, we are outdoors. I know there are still some COVID concerns. People are pretty spaced out here. They're eating, there's music. We've got a tuba player. I saw a couple other live instruments there. And of course, we've got our nice golden or I should say bronze market pig here on the carpet next to me. Now, I just heard today there are a few of these pigs around the market. This one is Billy. If you come to the market often, you probably see Rachel downstairs right in front of where they throw the fish. So just a cool little market fact. I love it. All right, let's see. Do we have anyone else? Hi, how are you? I love your outfit. Oh, thank you so much. You must be our poet laureate. I am, yes. I am so fortunate and excited to be here, the poet laureate this evening. And yes. you are going to be performing. I am performing, yeah. So I've been um, sort of wandering and sitting and writing and gathering little bits and pieces of the event that's been happening, and I'm going to you know, mash it up all together and have something to share at the end of the evening, so. It's amazing, that is amazing. It's Rachel, correct? Uh, it's Audrey. Audrey, I'm so sorry, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh, horrible reporter over here. No, that's Tell right. us what went into the preparation of putting together your poem for tonight. Yeah, absolutely, so, um, you know, I'm very fortunate to, you know, live here in Seattle, so lots of time and, and you know, moments and memories spent here at the market. And um, I wandered around a bit today, just kind of getting a sense of the, the space and how the day has evolved. And um, now, yeah, I'm really just, just kind of keeping my ears open and eyes open and soaking in all that's around, so. I feel like it's a really good skill to have as a poet. You have to keep your ears and eyes open. It does, it helps a lot, yeah. <laughs> inspiration is everywhere, true. So what is some of your inspiration when it comes to Pike Place Market? What are, what are your memories? Oh my gosh, absolutely. I think just what really sticks out to me is, um, you know, the sense of community, and this is such a, a central heart of the city. It really feels that way, and there's this sort of magic sense to the place. You know, you have all these people gathered together and creating and sharing ideas and like bouquets of flowers everywhere. It's just a magical place, so. It is, and I'm sure your poem is going to be magical, so make sure you keep on tuning in so you can listen to it. Can you give us a little snippet or sneak peek of what we can expect? Sure, I have, um, let's see, I'll give the... I love it, your pocketbook, thanks! <laughs> All right. Brick and music at the heart of an emerald city. Step to the market front as a dove flies to its nest. Warm your spirit with bright suits and bouquets, harmonica sun in the air. It's just a little start, I'll say. Harmonica that. sun in the air, I love it, I love it. Okay, if people can't stick around to see your performance, where can they find you? Are you on social media? I am, yes, so um, Passenger Poet, uh, that is my Instagram handle. It's also the name of uh, my first book that's been published as well. So you can find that, a Left Bank Books here in the market has it. Um, Oh man, Queen Anne Bookstore, Elliott Bay Books, anywhere that you love to buy your books locally, then I... Congratulations on publishing your first book. Support this local artist. You're so young and so talented and successful. Oh, thank you. Wow. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, we're all trying, so... Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you so much. much. Good luck tonight. Thank you, dear. That was just great. Make sure you give her a follow on Instagram, Passenger Poets. All right, do we have somebody else coming over here? Hello, how are you? Introduce yourself yeah Andrew Lewis council member yeah yeah it's very important yeah well you know <laughs> I, I I appreciate that yeah let's go with that how are you doing I'm doing good thank you so much for asking and now as a council member this is your district Pike Place Market is right here in the area you represent what what how do you feel tonight yeah you know I feel resilient right I mean look we're right here in the epicenter of an institution that's lasted through, you know, the wrecking ball of redevelopment. It's lasted through the intensity of the COVID pandemic, right? And we're, this is a celebration of the um, rejuvenation, the resiliency of this great community right in the center of downtown that's been holding it together. And I'm thrilled to be here. It's awesome. What's your message to the people here in your district about that resiliency? I love that you mentioned that because we are really coming out of tough times for many, still in tough times. Yeah, you know, we got to come down and patronize our civic gem. 
you know, the Pike Place Market is the heart of the city. So, you know, the message to everyone in the city of Seattle and beyond in the region, come on down to the Pike Place Market. It's open for business. We're having a party. It's a party every day. Like, this is the place to be this summer. So come on down. Councilmember Lewis, what is your favorite part of the market? Yeah, you know, I'm a really big fan of, uh, of all the seafood vendors here in particular. I've been making a lot of homemade chia pinos, you know, like with, with um, you know, with the, the shellfish and the clams and everything else that you can get here. You know, I love going and uh, getting a drink at the White Horse Tavern right around the corner up here on Post Alley. You know, love going to, uh, to you know, like to, to all of the uh, great merchants here for, for my groceries throughout the pandemic, Socios groceries. So, uh, you know, that's what I think people don't realize is this is a completely functioning working market. You know, come here for your groceries. Come here for your night out. Like, this is an amenity for all of us. It's not just a tourist attraction. It's a work and market, and it's a place to have a good time. I love that. Thank you so much for saying that. I love that this is your home, and you make it your home. You do your grocery shopping here, and you're cooking. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, Tyra, it's great to see, like, everybody coming out here, too, and um, really kicking off the summer. We're right on the doorstep of summer. And look, this is going to be the summer of recovery for the city, and it's going to be a, a summer of really kicking off for Pike Place Market. This is going to be great. You know, if I was any more, if, if I felt any better, I couldn't stand it. This is awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a good night. And thank you so much for your kind words. And, yes, yeah, support the local business merchants who are um, grinding here at Pike Place Market. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so, much. so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Wasn't that just great? You heard from our very own Councilman Lewis, and he represents the district that Pike Place Market is in. Now, it sounds like we are starting something pretty soon. I'm not really sure. I thought I heard some, like, settle down there in the background. I'm not sure. If we don't have anybody, do we have anyone else who might want to interview right now? Let's talk to Miss Lillian Sherman right now, Executive Director of the Pike Place Market Foundation. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for doing this. We've had a lot of great people speak about the market. Talk about what it's been like for you with such a high position here with the foundation organizing this. It's been a really an amazing ride. I've been here for 10 years now and to meet all these people and to have such consistent amazing people with us. It's just, it's such a, a big community and we're just so grateful that everybody's here tonight. Talk about the community, those who help support things like this. You know, this is such an amazing neighborhood and so many people don't realize that, that the people that do, we are, we really hang together and really make sure that as many people that don't know about that learn about it. And so that's the joy of tonight is like people really just coming together to get excited about this community and to see it forward. I love that you mentioned learning about different things. I feel like a lot of people have talked about things that we're not really familiar with the resources that the market provides. Yes, well, if you stay, stay tuned for the rest of the show, you're gonna learn a lot. There's so much happening in the market. It really is a neighborhood. There's so many people that live here, that work here, that just really rely on the services here. How can people get involved? If people are at home thinking, you know what, I wanna help out, I wanna take action. Well, of course there's the text to give. Um, tonight, but there's a lot of things that the Marco Foundation does year round, and we really encourage people to learn more, to participate in the things we're offering to the community, and to really just dig in and support the individual services and the whole community. Thank you so much, Ms. Sherman, for nice saying to see that. you. Have a good night. Isn't that great? Get involved. You mentioned, you just heard her mention that text to give. Hi! You all have to see, oh my god, hello! What is your name? Charlie. Charlie, look at your dress. Show everybody your dress. It's gorgeous. And how are you? Good. Do you come to Pike Place Market a lot? Yes. What do you do when you come here? Um, um, I, I, I walk with my mom. You come with your mom? Do you all shop? No. Do you eat food? No. Do you look at the flowers? No. What do you do here? I sell um, lame boot liners. Oh, you sell stuff? What do you sell? Uh, my mom sells lame boot liners. Oh, your mom does the selling, and so you help her out. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Do you? What is your favorite part about about doing that with your mom? I don't know. You like everything? 
I like your purple hair. You can't see it from your couch at home, but she has pink purple hair and it's so pretty. Is it your favorite thing ever? Yes. Awesome, thank you so much, Charlie. She's adorable. Her mom is one of the local small business merchants here in the market. Do you know what days maybe people can support your mom? Do you know what days you're here at the market? Um, Fridays, Thursdays, and I Saturdays. Fridays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You can find Charlie and her mom selling some of their goods. Thank you so much, Charlie, for telling us. Have a good night. I hope you have fun. Okay. How old are you? Seven and a half. Seven and a half? You're so smart. High five. Charlie's awesome, everybody. And look at that dress. How can you not love her? Don't you want to support some more small business owners just like Charlie and her mom? Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. All right. Hi. How are you? Come on over. Introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Sky Sailor, one half of Marnin Sailor. I'm Thomas Marnin, the other half of Marnin Sailor. Tell us about Marlin Sailor. We are a handmade toy company here in Pike Place Market. We started on the day stalls where Rihanna sets up, um, and now we have a shop, a permanent shop. That is amazing. Wow, toys, handmade toys. Right. Yeah, definitely. Who makes the toys? You're looking at them. Plus our team of Plus talented team, of course. seamstresses, yeah, uh, sewists, and production people, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> what has it been like for you as a small business here at Pike Place Market throughout the pandemic and even maybe prior? Oh my gosh, that's a wide ranging question. Um, being a small business in the market overall is awesome. Um, it's a very special place where a lot of things that couldn't exist anywhere else get to come to fruition and grow, us definitely being one of them. The pandemic was a challenge, uh, of course, because the market relies on tourist traffic, but it's bouncing back and we're just really grateful to still be here and supporting our community. So. Absolutely. What about for you? Are they good or challenging? Or? Well, most of it's challenging, you know, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> Running a business, right? Yeah, yeah. So. We started up in the craft market, so that's all handmade craft. When you guys walk through the market and see the people selling blown glass, handmade jewelry, or in our case, handmade toys, you make all that by hand. So you're out there in the cold when it's cold, you're out there in the hot when it's hot, which is actually really nice. And <laughs> when you get home, you're making those things that you're selling. So that combined with just uh, living your life, it's definitely a challenge, but one that's definitely worth it as well. Talk about why that is worth it. Talk about the joys of selling your handmade toys here in the market. Why should people come and visit your business? Uh, there are a lot of reasons. I mean, the joy for us is not only all of the, the challenges are a joy because you're overcoming things and you're also designing and making things. So it's, it's exhilarating to create something new and it's really fun to share it with other people too. And since we do make toys, we get to meet lots of kids and actually Charlie, who you just met, she's a big fan of ours. She's so, awesome. yeah, oh she's yeah. Awesome. So she comes into the store and we get to see her and we've been doing it for, we've been making toys for 10 years. So at this point we have people, we have kids that have grown up enjoying our stuff and it's really fun to actually see them you know, some of them are going to college now and they come back and they see us and they, you know, uh, relate to the experience and it's just a really fun time. That is so special. You two look like you're in college. You're like so young, like, <laughs> and you run a whole business. I'm inspired. Um, what is your favorite part about Pike Place Markets, guys? Oh my goodness. Um, all the people that I've gotten to meet. Um, via other business owners or customers from around the world or people that I've met through the foundation. It's just, it's a community and I don't know that there are a lot of places left in Seattle that feel like a little village, but this is one of them, so. Absolutely, and please tell the people at home about your village again, name of your toy shop and how people can support you, please. <laughs> well, so we're called Marn and Sailor. Those are our, our names combined, our last names. So creative. But you will recognize us as the big pink store next to the magic shop with the very cute handmade stuffed animals that look like little donuts. Just so where is the pink? <laughs> No, it's pretty hard to miss. Okay. It's very bright. Have you seen it? I have not. I probably have walked past it, but I'm, I'm, I might have. Maybe I'll go in next time. I absolutely <laughs> come will. say hello. Come yeah. in. Wow. <laughs> and I love the name. So creative. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs>
look for the pink next time you come to Pike Place Market <laughs> for their handmade toys. Thank you so much. Thank you. For sure. Thank Have you. a good night. Isn't that awesome? That is adorable. Handmade toys, just the joy of the small business owners here selling their handcrafted and handmade goods. That's a the market is all about all about that community support i'm gonna pull someone else in we have some spectators here watching hello <laughs> hi how are you again uh, it's good back to see again, you again if back. you're just joining us introduce yourself again my name is ron hippie and i'm gonna be uh tonight's uh raise the paddle auctioneer and i just wanted to say to all of our viewers at home now is your five minute warning to go and get a refresher on your drink. Grab some more food, use the restroom, get cozy wherever you're at, because we're gonna start at 7 p.m. sharp. So we'll see you in five minutes right here. Thank you so much for that final reminder. And uh, for those who would like to pull out their phones and participate and maybe help out, is that still an option? Yes, grab your phone and text the word market to 91999. Thank you so much. All right, you just heard them. We are starting at 7 p.m. You have five more minutes to get all that settled. Thank you. Appreciate that. We'll see you then. This has been a great night, everybody. Please stick around. Keep on tuning in. We're going to have a great roundup of performances. We heard from the poet. Audrey's going to be sharing some of her work. We have some live music and, of course, some great speeches. Anything else you'd like to add? Come back in five. <laughs> Come back in five. All right, thank you, everybody. I'm Tyra Majors. We appreciate you for joining us.
Ladies and gentlemen, please come to your seats. We are about to begin tonight's program. That's right, find your table and take your seat. We are about to begin. Love it. Your announcer voice is heavenly. Tiffany, we're on, right? We're on. Hi, good evening. I'm Dre Anderson. And I'm Ron Hippie, and we are honored to be your co-hosts for this evening. Welcome to the Pike Place Market Foundation's first ever hybrid Celebrate the Market. We're live here at Pike Place Market. And we want to thank our guests who are joining us in person here in the room and the viewers tuning in to the live stream from home and around the globe. And by the way, let's check out and see if we can see where some of the folks are tuning in from tonight. While you watch, please let us know in the chat where you're watching from, what you're doing, and how much fun you're having. In fact, we've got Jason Ham and his birthday party from the deck of a cruise boat in Alaska hey. tuning in. Yeah, hey. Jason. And how about Lindy Gaylord in Palm Springs? Check oh, wow. that photo out. Ooh, that looks nice. And we got Brian and Rose at home who are waiting for baby to arrive. Maybe just hold off a couple hours on that so we can get through tonight's live stream. People near and far who love the market are tuning in tonight, and that's what is bringing us together. And this bell represents a long-held tradition here in the market. It was rung for decades at the start of business on the day stall line when farmers and artists would, um, at the day stall line when farmers and artists would choose their tables for the day. So like so many things in their lives, the pandemic's changed the situation. And it's moved to Zoom meetings for daily table assignments. But in the market, we like to keep the story of the market bell alive right here tonight. Now, those of you in the room, you might notice that at your table, there are tiny bells for you to ring as well. That's right. You can ring and still hear the Today at the Market Foundation. Every time a gift is made, someone rings a bell. For the past two years, though, that bell has kind of looked more like this right here. So let's test out. Some of you have already started. Let's test out our bells. Ring them any time tonight that you feel inspired. Pull those bells out. Ring them. We're happy to hear them. And for the online audience, we want you to go ahead and use the bell emojis to celebrate along with us. Did you know every time a bell rings, a pig gets his wings? There you go. Fact. <laughs> truth. It's got to be true, right? This 115-year history of Pike Place Market is a tale of all kinds of innovations and adaptations. It's also the story of all kinds of people finding community and economic opportunities in the market, including farmers, small business owners, and workers, S senior residents, and the community of downtown neighbors who shop and rely on the services in the market. Our mission at Pike Place Market Foundation is to nurture a thriving market community. Right. Oh, that was you, right? We would like to acknowledge that here in the historic market district, we are on the traditional lands of the first people of Seattle, the Duwamish, the Suquamish, and the Mukilteo tribes, as well as other Coast Sahelish people. We honor their leadership, inspiration, and collaboration in our region and in the Pike Place Market community today, while also acknowledging their ancient heritage and this land. Thank you very much, Trey. You know, I am so honored to be back here with you all in person. This is my fourth time hosting the Market Foundation Spring Event. That's right, you're inspired. You got your bell ringing. I'm so glad to hear it. This is my fourth time joining all of you at the Market Foundation's Spring Event, including our last two years of virtual rally for the market. How many people tuned into our virtual rally for the market? <laughs> Love it. That was so great. And if you tune into those, you know that my market story runs really deep. I've been coming here since I was a kid a long, long, long time ago. My Uncle Daryl has run market coins down in the lower levels for decades, and he's still working hard there every day. So uh, I love this place. It's very significant, very personally meaningful for me. What about you, Dre? Oh, man, I have always loved the market. I mean, coming here as a kiddo on field trips and even just being able to walk around and enjoy these day stalls to connect with the people that are out here. Like, this is their livelihoods. They're making this art by hands. They're farming these foods just for your enjoyment and entertainment. Like, it's wild that they come out here. And I am so blessed to be here with all of you for the first time. I'm a youth and hip hop educator out here in Seattle. Ron and I both entertain audiences at unexpected productions. We do improv down there at the market. 
in the post alley. You know maybe the gun wall. Maybe Come on, it's world famous, y'all. I mean, and, and it's, it's just such a privilege to work with this guy over here. I swear, every time that we hang out on and off stage, it's just good last positivity, and I need that in my life, don't we all? Absolutely true. Some, come down next time you see a show and say hi to us because we're there a lot performing. You know, speaking of you, by joining us tonight, you are a part of the market community just like that. If you shop in the market, if you work or live here in the market, you donate to the Market Foundation. Or if you attend events here, you are part of the market community. And we're all here because Pike Place Market holds a special place in our hearts. And if you're tuning in on Facebook Live or YouTube, Please, again, say hi to us in the chat and tell us why you love celebrating the market. And here's something very exciting that we have. We have our very own market poet laureate, Audrey Kohler, who is going to be taking comments from the chat and observations from the event and is going to commemorate this celebratory evening with a brand new original poem at the end of the program. So let's give Audrey a lot to write about because she's observing us right now putting all those thoughts into poetry and will be shared later this evening. And of course, as I said, we'd love to hear on the live stream why you love the market. You know, the market's bustling today. Your favorite businesses, they're open again, yay. The office workers are coming back down for lunch and groceries in the Pike Place Market. We knew it would happen again, we're so glad. And the Pike Place Market remains the bright spot in downtown Seattle and throughout our region. So over the past two years, we've received a tremendous amount of support from our donors. Many of you are right here in this room tonight. And for those of you tuning in, the donors, the donors from all across Seattle and all around the globe. Tonight, we're here to celebrate the many ways the donations that you put here are put to work to keep the market strong. Your support was absolutely vital to keeping the soul of our city alive. But we can't stop now. Now we need your continued support because there's still so much work to be done. There really is. And if you're joining the Pike Place Market Foundation for the first time, first of all, welcome. But you might not be familiar with the incredible impact that they make on the community right here in Pike Place Market. Do you know it was 40 years ago this year that the Market Foundation was created to help care for the people and the social services that are critical to making this market a village, a village. Man, did you know that above the storefronts of the market is housing for seniors? And woven throughout the historic district are services like a food bank, senior center, preschool, medical clinic, and assisted living. So many things. And the role of the Market Foundation is to provide funding and partnership to keep this community of services strong. That's been more important than ever these past two years. I think we would all agree on that. Oh, you definitely. And the Market Foundation also creates its own programs and services to meet the evolving needs of the market and the downtown community. These programs are run out of the Market Commons, a community resource center that's still fairly new at the beginning of the pandemic and became absolutely critical for emergency response to small business workers and senior residents right here in the market. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the Market Foundation follows an evidence-based model for a healthy community that makes sure that all of our neighbors have access to the critical supports, mm. like access to housing, mm -hmm. health care, nutritious food, education, stability, and community connections that allow our community to not just survive, but to thrive. Mm. This model has been critical to our ability to respond during one of the biggest crises that we've seen in our lifetimes. No, that's right. You'll all learn about this and more in our special program tonight. We have some super special guests who are going to be joining us right here on this stage. So get excited for the headlining performance by Jeannie Rack. Yes. That's going to be fun. And it's right now not too early to show your support for what the Pike Place Market Foundation does for our community. In fact, you can, celeb you can visit celebratethemarket.org to donate and show your support. Or you can text the word market to the numbers 91999 with your mobile phone and you'll get a link to donate. And for those of you in the room with me here, ho oh, ho, oh, there you all are. I hope you got your paddles ready because a little bit later we're going to raise those highs. So make sure you've got those nearby.
And whether you're joining us in the room tonight or tuning in from home, we hope that you're enjoying some delicious market taste from Chef Tracy, owner of the HM Kitchen at Pike Place Market. So yummy, so oh. good. Did you know that every ingredient from the fish to the vegetables, the herbs, the cheese, the bread, all are sourced from the incredible producers right here at Pike Place Market. We're so blessed to have some of the best food in the world right here at the market. We really are. That was so tasty tonight. Oh, that my goodness. Good. Folks, our goal tonight, here it is. Our goal is a big one. It's to raise $350,000 to help the market remain strong and resilient. And with these funds, we will continue to focus on the critical supports that the market community needs in the year ahead, including, you will see, the first food. Access to the market's fresh, nutritious foods. You know, the Market Foundation makes fresh produce affordable for people living on little to no income. And they're expanding this program to include access to healthy proteins like fish and meat and eggs right here from the market. Oh, word. The second is community. You know, there are community connections and support for the seniors who live in and around the market and rely on our services, and that is critical. And the last is stability. Economic stability for our residents, our workers, and our small business owners. Something that the pandemic showed us is incredibly important to keeping the market whole. And you're going to learn all about this and more in the program tonight. But before we get there, please, let's take a moment to show our gratitude to our sponsors of this event. Special thanks to Como4 TV. Man, give it up for Como4. We got Tyra Majors in the house. Oh, my gosh. Uh, she hosted the red carpet event. I got my red carpet, 10 seconds of fame. That was great. <laughs> Look at that. There she is. <laughs> Oh, man, our other sponsors, they include uh, Kite Rocket, Delta Airlines, Green Velope, Pike Place Market Preservation, Development Authority, and Punch Drunk. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much to uh, our supporting sponsors that you see here. Big round of applause to all of our supporting sponsors you see on the screen. Thank you. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We also... I'd I'm excited to let you know we have some generous pace setters who have already donated to keep the community at Pike Place strong. Okay. In fact, here they are scrolling across your screen. Look at all those names. It's because of them that we have tonight two very exciting opportunities to match your gift. Here's what's going to happen. If you donate at either $2,500 or $250, your gift is going to be doubled thanks to these generous pace setters. That is cool. That's an investment I can get on board with. I hope you can too. That's later in our Raise the Paddle. Oh, that's awesome. And remember, for the folks at home, you can follow the directions here at the bottom of the screen to make your donation online or on your mobile phone anytime. And again, we love hearing from you in the Facebook or the YouTube chats. So holla at us. Hey, there you go. Say hi. We love it. Now, before we get started with the first story about the tremendous impact that we've seen in this community the past two years, I want to take you back, way, way back to this day. The opening day of Pike Place Market. Anybody know the date? August 17th, 1907. And the headline of the Seattle Times that day said... Quote, a clamorous fiasco. Pike Place Market is an instant success. They knew even back then. And this day came about all because of this piece of produce that Dre's holding right here in his hand. That's right. It's an onion. I love onions. But it was this right here, an onion. In 1907, farmers from across Seattle would bring their horse-drawn wagons into the city to sell produce to commission houses right here on Western Avenue, who would then in turn sell fresh produce to the customers. Well, in 1907, the commission houses decided to increase their profits by raising the price of produce. And it got so out of hand, the price of onions soared from 10 cents a pound to a dollar a pound. Now, that might not seem like much today, but back then, a dollar was equivalent to, what do you think? A pair of shoes at Nordstrom, no less. That is an expensive onion. The farmers, of course, and the shoppers were outraged, and that's when our city council declared the corner of Pike Street and Pike Place, Seattle's public farmer's market right here. 
It created a place for farmers to sell direct to customers, to keep produce affordable and keep produce accessible. Mm. 115 years later, the Market Foundation continues to support this mission with programs that ensure everyone in our community can access the wonderful food of the market regardless of income. Oh, that's beautiful. Food brings us together at Pike Place Market, and we know that access to fresh food is key to a healthy life. Mm. The pandemic presented new challenges to the market's food programs, but it also led to innovation to ensure access to healthy food in the market remained strong. Mm. So with that, let me introduce you to Crystal Dixon, Director of Strategic Impact, who will share with us how it works today. Back in March 2020, as the state was responding to the pandemic and starting to shut down, we were busy in the market commons trying to figure out what to do too, while ironically hosting Friday the 13th bingo for market residents. As the residents played bingo, staff was working together with other social service partners to try to figure out what we could each do to help protect our senior residents. How could we feed people if we couldn't gather? A lot of our population isn't able to cook. Going grocery shopping wasn't a safe option anymore. We knew we had to create a comprehensive food plan, one that could deliver food for people to eat safely and consistently and not leave anyone behind. Within weeks, the Market Commons launched the emergency food program, delivering meals and groceries to hundreds of market residents. We worked hand in glove with the Pike Market Senior Center and Food Bank, a critical partner in the market for food access. And during the pandemic, they remained key, providing meals to the Senior Center and home delivery and walk-up grocery shopping at the Food Bank. We worked with the Market Commons to assess all the residents of Pike Market and make sure that they got what they needed even as lockdown started and people's needs really changed during the pandemic. We're really proud of the fact that the Pike Market Food Bank didn't close down at all during the pandemic. We stayed open every day, even though that meant changing our model pretty drastically a number of times. We stopped letting people come inside, but we were able to move everything outdoors and distribute food in a different way. The pandemic absolutely forced us to innovate and rethink how we were doing essentially everything. And we ended up discovering a number of modes of service and operations that are working really well for our clients. During the pandemic, we increased our home delivery program by 300%, so we're serving about three times as many households every week as we were before the pandemic. We have had a long wait list for our home delivery program for years, and we have found that a lot of people who get on our home delivery service stay on it forever. Um, we're with people a lot of times through the end of their lives. The Pike Place Market Foundation has been a huge support and allowed us to work really collaboratively with all of the partners in the market, including the Market Commons. The Commons is so in touch with all of the different market partners that we were able to take the experience of assessing buildings and residents in a really systematic way and apply that to our community partnerships. And we think we have a stronger home delivery program and approach now because of that. We work closely with our partners to ensure that everyone can afford the fruit and vegetables from our farmers and our produce stands. They can shop at the food bank and receive a warm scratch made meal from the senior center. Pike Place has always been about gathering people around food. And when everyone has access to the wonderful abundance of the market, they truly thrive. Wow. And thank you to the organizations who made this work possible. I'm gonna Ask them to stand up right now so we can all shower them with applause, please. Let's have our representatives from the Pike Place Market Senior Center and Food Bank and Commercial and Farm Team from the Pike Place Market PDA, please rise. Yes. Y'all are the true champions out here. We appreciate y'all. And we also want to take this time to thank the market businesses who are on the screen now who support these programs. We couldn't do this work without these partnerships from across the market.
Yes, there they are. There they are. Big round of applause. Thank you, thank you all for your hard work and passion for keeping food accessible over the past two years. This issue wasn't anything new with the pandemic, but it certainly highlighted the importance of keeping pantries stocked and food on the table, no matter your income level. Now, before we move on, I just want to quickly point out, we've got some people tuning in. We have people tuning in tonight all the way from First Hill, okay. from Ballard, hey. from Bellevue and oh. Queen Anne, from Kirkland, even West Seattle, and, My people. and Boston, Massachusetts, what? tuning in. Hello, 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 and welcome to all of you as well. So, yeah. and uh, you know what? We also had some people are telling us, here's the reason why they love the market so much. They say, quote, it's the best shop local place, the place to get their local stuff. They also quote, I love bronze pigs. Can't <laughs> go wrong with that. And quote, the market is the true beating heart of Seattle. I concur with that. Dre. Oh, indubitably. I absolutely love it. Now, we want to give you all an even closer look at the market as a neighborhood, and the staff who works to keep this community of residents, workers, and neighbors safe and stable and connected during an unprecedented time of shutdowns, quarantine, and the unknown. Many people do not realize that beyond all the flowers and the flying fish is a village full of not only farmers and artists, but residents and neighbors. The market is home to over 400 residents, mostly seniors, living above the storefronts, as well as a whole network of social services. The Market Commons works together with the residential building managers and many of the other agencies in the market to take care of our senior population. When the pandemic hit, we knew we needed to keep these senior residents healthy and safe, but also connected to the market community as they face this scary time of isolation. It wasn't easy. Our clients were used to coming into the Market Commons for resources, activities, or just to say hi. We were designed to be that welcoming community center, but all of that changed. We had to build an entire system to meet people where they were. People were scared. We were all scared. We wanted people to know and this community to know that we were still here and they could come to us if they needed food resources, emergency resources, or just to say hi and have a conversation. We started making phone calls, Zoom calls, and sending notes. We had a list of people who we called on a weekly basis just so that people could know that they are not alone. We are here for them. Then finally, in spring of 2021, the fire department came and we were able to partner with them so they can host a vaccine clinic for the community. And just last December, we were also able to host a booster clinic. All this time, we were working with people who were behind on rent and utilities. We were able to get them connected to the different organizations in order to find some relief. But still, there were so many behind. We knew this would be the case. That is why we created our own rent relief program. By December of 2021, hundreds of checks were rolling out to residents just before the eviction moratorium lifted. I can't tell you what a weight that was on people. The stress that they had been carrying for months and months, it just vanished. The gratitude that was expressed by folks from bringing in vaccinations, getting them some much needed rent relief, or just checking in on people has been so amazing. We received hundreds of notes and calls thanking us and letting us know how great it is to be a part of this community. We are here for each other. This is why I love this place. This kind of community support has proven necessary time and time again throughout the pandemic. We are just starting to come back and gather in person again, but our community has remained intact because of the amazing people working together in the hard times and in the good times. This community is unlike any other. We have a lot to be grateful for here in the market, including each other. Yes, truly, truly inspiring. Thank you, big hand. Again, we must thank our partners who work closely with our team at the Market Commons to make this work possible. Can we please have our partners from the Pike Place Market residential team stand up and be recognized? <laughs> residential team. There they are. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Now, as we all know, small businesses were dramatically impacted by shutdowns and health restrictions over the past two years. That's nothing new. 
The market is home to more than 500 small businesses, and we knew these members of the community, the smallest of the small businesses, the farmers, and the artists needed a new level of support to survive. The Small Business Recovery Program launched to help these business owners not only survive the pandemic, but think beyond it by investing in what their businesses needed to be more resilient through the ups, the downs, and the unknowns. Take a look. To survive after being closed for months. We knew even with the bigger grants coming from the city and the state, many of our artists, farmers, and small retailers would not survive without extra support. So we developed a program flexible enough to include all kinds of businesses in the market. Our small business fund provided flexible funding and peer support so owners could see and think beyond the current crisis. We asked business owners, what could you invest in to make your business stronger and more resilient for the future? And people got really creative to boost their reach, not just for the short term, but for the long term. It's pretty unreal being a business owner and to be here at the Pipe Place Market and um, you know, just to be able to have our art here um, at a place that you know, we all visited as tourists is pretty special, it's pretty cool. In our old gallery, we used to discuss where would we like to be if we could move out of this space and actually have a space, and we always talked about Pipe Place. So now we're here, the grant was kind of the next step in that evolution of how do we make this business viable and how do we become intertwined with like the fabric. The Small Business Recovery Fund allowed us to reopen and also innovate and catapult our business into you know, what you see today. We were able to purchase a canvas printer, uh, print our fine art prints, and then redo the floors and, um, you know. Make it new. Yeah, make this place <laughs> new, yeah. During the pandemic, like we had this space, but other artists, all their other venues shut down. To actually be able to have a space where we are running a legit business within Pike Place Market has kind of stepped up that level of what's actually you know possible for, for artists. Being a business owner at Pike Place, uh, lots of great things. Um, access to farmers, ranchers, kind of all of the things that I need to run my business. I purchase all my spices for the business through World Spice. Um, they're fresh quality spices um, and also a, a part of the market community. I had opened my business here at Pike Place in November of 2019, so I really only had about four months into the game here uh, before everything shut down. When COVID happened, I was able to, through the Small Business Fund, support an employee for the first two weeks in which we could make some sales and gather some, some ground on it. I was able to ramp up my shipping capabilities for our products and purchase a shipping printer and I was shipping out 20 to 50 packages a day for the first six or eight weeks or so of the pandemic. Pike Place Market is just such a wonderful, magical place. It is an amazing thing about a booth our size, which is 164 square feet. We see over 10 million people a year through our small space. You can't get that anywhere else. Without the artists, farmers, and small retailers of the market, our neighborhood would not be the vibrant, eclectic place it is. Through the Small Business Fund, we invested not only in those businesses and the people that run them, but in the very fabric of our community, a community where everyone can thrive. Wow. Ring those bells. Thank you to these incredible market entrepreneurs. Dylan, Mina, Robert, Mallory, too. Man. My hat's off to the team at the Market Commons who launched that emergency program to keep small businesses of the market not only surviving, but thriving. Let's give it up for Crystal, Director of Strategic Impact, who oversaw the vision of the team, Stella, Velma, and Catherine, who all made it possible. Please stand up. Y'all are absolutely incredible. We appreciate each and every one of you. Now they couldn't have pulled it off without some incredible partnerships in the market. And so I wanna ask Miranda, Carrie, and Rihanna to stand up, please. Miranda, Carrie, and Rihanna. These ladies are artists and business owners in the market who not only kept their businesses afloat, but helped others in the small business recovery program with peer support to create business recovery plans. 
That's incredible. We also want to express our gratitude for the Daystall commercial farm and leadership team at the Pike Place Market PDA. None of this would have been possible without their commitment and dedication to making these grants possible. Well, as if that weren't enough. Yes, big round of applause. Big round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who contributes. And with that, I am very, very excited and it's my honor to welcome the leader behind all of this work, who, by the way, just celebrated her 10th year leading the Market Foundation. I'm talking, of course, about the one, the only, Lillian Sherman! It is so good to be here with so many of you and waving at a whole bunch of you online. What a ride we've been on over the last two years, and I'm just so grateful you all are here. I want to start by sharing my immense gratitude to the amazing people who've been working tirelessly in all of the market partner agencies, to the Market Foundation staff and board, to the entire PDA staff and council. It's been a huge team effort, and to keep the market open, safe, healthy, Every single one of you has played a role in keeping the market the bright spot in Seattle. Thank you. I also want to thank each one of you for caring so much for this community and for standing with one another to help keep the market strong. So thanks to you. <laughs> As you heard Ron say earlier, the Market Foundation is celebrating 40 years of nurturing this community. Since 1982, we've been working diligently alongside many of you to provide services and support for the whole market community, especially our neighbors living on lower incomes. This kind of support for this market neighborhood is nothing new. It existed in 1907 when the market was founded. It's written into the historic charter from the Friends of the Market wrote, and it's in the mission we're dedicated to every day and will be for generations to come. This deep commitment into community proved its value a million times over during the pandemic. Our model for a healthy community allowed us to respond effectively and efficiently to the multiple crises happening at the same time. It meant we already had strong partnerships in place with this community. It meant our fundraising team was ready to launch a recovery response. And it meant the programs team was already deeply rooted and working directly into our community members. This model is in place because people living in lower incomes are already facing those challenges. The pandemic only heightened and elevated our awareness of them. It certainly made those challenges more relatable to those of us who don't typically struggle with instability day to day. The stories you heard in the video are just a few of the highlights over the last two years. I'd like to share just a couple more with you now. I want to thank our friends and partners at Neighbor Care Health. They run the clinic here in Pike Place Market. <laughs> They have been on the front lines since day one. In 2020, they rolled out COVID testing downtown for our neighbors living in shelters, unhoused, and in low-income housing. They adapted healthcare services to keep this community safe in so many ways, and we are truly, truly grateful. Thanks also to our partners at Providence Heritage House. I see Jennifer sitting over there. They operate the assisted living in the market, helping seniors on low incomes access skilled nursing care. And as you can imagine, they've been on high alert since uh, COVID was first discovered in this state. And still to this day, they have not had a single case among their residents, which is remarkable. And a special thanks to our partners at the Pike Market Child Care and Preschool. They were forced to close for four months and have reopened with a whole new set of challenges due to limited capacity and new regulations. But they continue to be cognizant and in increasing the wages of teachers and serving families of low income all across the board. It's been a tremendous honor for the Market Foundation to stand in partnership with all of these organizations. The innovation, courage, tenacity of the staff, leaders, volunteers, 
every day continues to be remarkable to witness. Over the last two years, the Market Foundation has invested more than two million in unrestricted grants to the social service partners in the market. <laughs> while also adding nearly $270,000 and counting in additional emergency grants to cover those unexpected operating costs that came about due to COVID. This is a new record in our support of, our, of the social services in the market, and none of it would have been possible without you all who respond time and time again to help us fill up our piggy bank so that we can respond quickly to the needs of this community. I just thank you so much for that generosity. You made it possible. We know this pandemic persists and the effects will be long lasting. We also continue to vividly see the massive holes in the health and social systems in our country. It is in this space that I believe our healthy community model in partnership with you, with you will shine. The model is designed to listen and respond to the needs of the community as they arrive. We don't know what's gonna happen or what will be needed, but the Market Foundation will continue to be ready, nimble, and responsive to deploy resources to address those needs as quickly as possible to the best of our ability. I know that sounds simple, perhaps a little vague, but it also gives us the ability to be flexible while remaining sharply focused on the persistently critical areas of access to food and fresh, healthy, affordable food, consistent and reliable support of the members of our community, and building economic stability for our residents, workers, and small businesses. I cannot thank you enough for the incredible investments that you've made in the market community through the Market Foundation. The work is far from over, and I thank you for standing with us, and I hope you will open your hearts and be generous again tonight. What the numbers don't say, and what any presentation by me will convey, are the heartfelt sentiments that we hear from thousands of people about what this kind of support means in their lives. Here's a note, I've been waving it around. Here's a note written by one of our community members um, to the staff of the Market Commons. It says, I value the little things in this isolating time. And I wanna thank you for all the support and for the information. You have added light at dark times and kindness to many. Uh, they all make me cry every single time we get a note like this. So I want you all to now welcome to the stage, uh, and I'd like to introduce you to a few of those Market Common staffs who really do add light to this community. Oh, hi there. I'm Velma, and welcome to the Market Commons. And I'm Stella. What is the Market Commons, you say? The Market Commons is a resource slash community center in the Pike Place Market. Do you need help finding resources for things like health insurance, unemployment, or food assistance, and not sure where to start? Have questions about programs in your community and don't know who to call? Or do you just need a friendly face to talk to about your day? We, we are, are here for you. Feel free to call us, email, or stop by in person anytime. See our contact info below. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day, and we'll, we'll see, see you soon. soon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> As you just saw, I'm Velma. <laughs> we built the Market Commons to help fellow community members with everything from health care, to finding a shelter bed for the night, as well as being a place for people to swing by just for a little chit chat. With the pandemic, the whole world was turned upside down. For the market, that meant people out of work for the first time, seniors stuck at home for weeks and months, and nearly everyone trying to figure out how they were gonna pay their bills. I have seen hundreds and hundreds of people come to us for help. 
help with unemployment, social security, paying rent, grants for small businesses, and everything in between. I could go on and on about the different type of situations people come to us for help with. And those of you who know me, y'all know I can talk. <laughs> but since I'm only up here for a couple of minutes, I would just like to share a little bit about the way we support each other. Underneath everything we do, it is all about relationships. Our goal is to create strong connections with people, strong enough that they feel comfortable coming to us with those difficult situations. Y'all have just seen how we had to change our programs in order to reach people. For me, that's the most important part, staying in touch with everyone to let them know they are not alone. <laughs> Thank you. This is my job, to connect people to the resources that they need. But it is so much more than that. The market is a family, and I am so humbled to be a part of this family, one that truly cares for one another. I want to make sure that each client that I work with knows that they are not alone, that we are here to walk with them through all the hard situations together. I know how hard it is to navigate all these systems. The hours on the phone, the endless paperwork, the frustration. I was there. I was a homeless mom of three. What I learned through my hardships was when I wasn't alone, I knew I could make it through. I know how it feels to be in the situations our clients see. I know how important it is to have someone in your corner, someone who can empathize, a friend to help stay positive when dealing with all the bull. <laughs> we hear people say all the time, I wouldn't know where to start. I was on hold for five hours before I gave up. If you weren't here with me, I would have gave up a long time ago. I understand that feeling, that feeling of helplessness, that feeling of being completely overwhelmed, feeling scared, not knowing what to do. I want to make sure that each person in this community knows that they are not alone, that we will walk beside them when they don't know where to start or what to do. I am so blessed to be able to share my love and joy with the people I know need that support. In the market, people stayed housed, people stayed fed, people stayed connected to their community. That's because we are a community. Mm -hmm. That's because we have each other's back. I just want to take this time now to thank everyone who was in my corner, that had my back. And I want to thank y'all for being in the Marcus corner, for having the Marcus back. Let's all stay in each other's corner. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thelma, Thelma. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Velma. Thank you, Lillian. And thank the entire community at Pike Place Market who worked together to make it all possible. That is some powerful work in such a difficult year. <clears throat> now, once again, we're so glad that you joined us and we are still live here at Pike Place Market. And as I mentioned earlier, we have a big goal tonight that you're all going to help us with to raise $350,000 to continue to support the recovery of Pike Place Market. That is why we are here tonight, and we want the market to remain healthy and strong, and I know you all do too, including you at home. 
No gift is too big or too small. Whatever is meaningful for you. Every single gift makes a difference in the market community, providing everything from food to health care, emergency financial support, and so much more. And we hope you'll consider giving perhaps even a little more than you had planned on when you tuned in tonight. For those of you online, you can do it now with a simple tap of the thumb. Text the word MARKET to 91999 with your phone. You'll receive a link to complete your donation. Or visit CelebrateTheMarket.org on a separate device. And for those of you here with us in the room, now is the time when your bid cards are going to come in oh so handy. Let's all reach down right now or over or wherever those cards are. Pull them out. Wave them high. I want to see them up in the sky. <clears throat> Those are the cards that we're going to raise a lot of money to help Pike Place Market tonight. And, of course, those little bells, you can ring those, too, anytime you're inspired. That helps as well. So, again, we are confident that there is a level that matches every person's capacity in the room to give. By the way, folks, in fact, there's only a few times tonight in which we ask for your undivided attention. You were so good, but right now, let's turn to our neighbors and very gently and politely say, shh. Thank you so much. This is the critical, the most critical part of the evening and something very exciting that I want to announce right now. The market has really been the bright spot downtown and we're going to start our first level at the raise the paddle. We're going to jump up to $50,000. And I'm very excited to say that we're starting off big tonight thanks to an anonymous longtime market champion who has already started off this level with a $50,000 donation ahead of this event. Big round of applause for our anonymous donor. Who else is ready out there to make an investment in the soul of our city? The Market Foundation has demonstrated the ability to innovate and respond to the needs of the market community as they occurred, and we know that we need to be ready to respond, continue to adapt, and innovate going forward. Anybody out there so inspired want to lift their paddle right now at $50,000 or any other level, you can customize it above 25. You name the amount. Does anybody want to join our anonymous $50,000 donor and go big right now in the room to start us off at this level? You could say 45 or 40. All right, I just wanted to ask on that, dig a little deep. Let's give one more big round of applause to that generous donor starting us off big at $50,000. <laughs> Now, we also want to ask you to join the Grosner Fund. The Grosner Fund has already started off our $25,000 level by donating $25,000 to support this work. Thank you, Grosner Fund, for your generosity. Who wants to join them at $25,000? Is there anyone in this room who can now lift their paddle and give $25,000 to help Pike Place Market Foundation in all the work it does? If we all lift our paddle at this level, I promise we'll skip every other level. <laughs> Go straight to the end. Anybody out there want to join? And I'm very patient, too. All right, I know there's a level that matches everybody's capacity in this room to give. A big round of applause again to the Grosner Foundation for starting us at $25,000. Let's take a look at our next level, the $10,000 level. The Market Foundation's commitment to investing significant and reliable funds year over year to the market's social service providers is why this mission of the market remains so strong. Let's keep investing in the staff and the partners working on the front line. And before we raise our paddles in this room, I want to thank a few people who've already started us off at the $10,000 level. Big thank you to Amy and J.R. Tipton, Mary Foster and John Teutsch who have committed $10,000. Who else in the room right now wants to raise that paddle up high at $10,000 and make a major commitment to the Pike Place Market Foundation? We have a paddle starting off right here. Number two, four, three at $10,000. Thank you so much. Who wants to join her at $10,000 right now and raise that paddle? I see one right here. Number two, four, six. Thank you, Arlene. Who wants to join Arlene at $10,000? Anybody out there whose paddle I have not seen yet? Anybody reaching down? Anybody reaching over? It can be someone else's paddle. No, it can't be. Can't be someone else's paddle. All right, big round of applause to our generous $10,000 level donors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
And as you can see, our next level is $5,000. Our work today to improve the lives of the entrepreneurs and workers is essential to the success of not only the market, but the entire downtown Seattle community. And we do have a few $5,000 donors who've already started us off. Big round of applause to thank Lindy and Bill Gaylord. Thank you so much. Peggy Phillips, thank you so much. Ruth and Todd Warren, thank you so much. And others who've donated at this level. Can you donate at this level? level. Anybody want to raise their paddle right now at $5,000? I see one right here. Thank you. Number one, one, zero at $5,000. Thank you, John Bates. We also have right here number two, three, nine. Thank you so much, Ryan Smith. Thank you, Ryan. Number one, seven, three continues the fun. Thank you, Larry Mellum. And right next to them, number 102 at $5,000. Thank you so much, Kirsten Anderson. And thank you for your patience. We have number 156 at $5,000. Thank you so much, Jody Foster. And right over here, we have number 233. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth Schultz in the house. Anybody else there that I didn't see? Anybody over here I didn't see at the $5,000 level? Your last chance at $5,000. Yes, number two, six, one. Thank you so much, Howard Wright. Thank you, Howard. Who wants to join Howard? Anybody else out there at $5,000? Let's keep the applause going for all the generosity on display at our $5,000 level donor. That was special. You know, uh, our market partners, Can Can, and the dressing room have donated at this level in memory of Michael Snell. So thank you, Can Can and dressing room. Now, we have a special opportunity that I mentioned earlier in the evening to double your donation tonight. That's right, this is your first chance to make your donation doubled thanks to this match, very generous match. Every donation at the $2,500 level are matched by our early pace setter donors. Thanks to all of the early pace setters, and of course a special thanks to an anonymous donor, and the Grosner Fund, who donated to match gifts at this level up to $75,000. That's right, folks. So how many paddles can we get up right now knowing that your $2,500 donation becomes $5,000 thanks to this generous match? And I see a card right here in front of me. We're starting off with number one, four, four. Number two, six, eight. Thank you. Number two, four, zero. All of these are $2,500. I also see number two, zero, six. Thank you very much. Who else wants to double up their donation? Yes, number two, zero, seven at $2,500. Doubled becomes a $5,000 donation. Who else wants to double up your donation right now? This is a major chance to double your impact at $2,500. Anybody else out there want to step up big? Yes, right here again joining us, number two, four, six. Thank you so much for your donation. Anybody else out there want to dig deep at $2,500 knowing that your match, that your donation will be doubled right now? Well, let's keep the applause going for all the generosity at the $2,500 level. Folks, that was amazing. Thank you for our generous match as well. And I'm hearing reports of a flurry of gifts. And hold on, Larry Mellum from Pike Place Chowder just added his monthly chowder proceeds yesterday with a $2,500 donation. Thank you, Larry Mellum. Pike Place Chowder right over there. You can almost see it. And I'm hearing reports of a flurry of gifts that are coming in online as well. Susan Hitman and Clint and Barbara Bennett just gave $2,500 as well. If you haven't donated at home yet, please join us. Remember, a gift at any level that is meaningful to you is meaningful to us as well. And let's keep this healthy community model strong at Pike Place Market because we've seen how vital it is and we need to keep this work growing for years to come. So if you love Pike Place Market, Maybe you'll think about donating at our next level, which, as you can see, is the $1,000 level. I think we can get a lot of cards up at $1,000. Who's going to start us off? Raise that card. Here we go. Number 131. Number 223. Two, Number 106. 
number two, eight, three, number one, nine, seven. All of these at $1,000. We continue with number two, three, one, number one, eight, five, number one, six, nine, and number two, zero, zero. Thank you, thank you very much. I see number one, four, nine, number one, four, zero, number two, four, six. Thank you so much. Number one, three, four, and all the way over there, number one, eight, three. Thank you very much. How about this half of the room? So patient. I see number two, two, one joining us at $1,000. Anybody else want to raise that paddle up for $1,000? Big round of applause for all of our generous $1,000 level donors. Thank you so much. Just a few levels left, folks, and I want to make sure that you all have a chance to give. Perhaps this next level is for you. You know, by being here tonight, you're part of the market community, as we mentioned. Because if you shop the market, if you live here, or you work here, or just enjoy visiting here, you're a part of the market. So let's support our donation. How many paddles can we raise at 500? Right here in front of me, number one, nine, six. Thank you. Number two, five, four. Number one, nine, zero. Number two, four, eight. Number two, seven, seven. Thank you very much. We have number two, five, two. And joining us is number two, nine, one. I also see number one, one, nine. Thank you, at $500. And number two, zero, two joining us. Keep those bells ringing. I love it. I see number one, two, three. Number two, eight, nine. Number two, four, one. Number one, four, four. Thank you so much. And number one, eight, seven. All of these donations at $500. Right here, number one, five, three. Number one, six, three. Number three, zero, zero. Thank you so much. And anybody else over here? $500. Want to raise that paddle up? Let's give a big round of applause to those very generous $500 level donors. That was great. And again, folks, I said there were two chances to match or double up your donation. This is the second one tonight. It's the $250 level. It's your second opportunity to double. Every donation at this level is going to double up. It will become $500 thanks to our early pace setters matching your $250 donation. Here we go. Who wants to double up their donation at $250? We'll start with number one, two, four. Number one, four, zero. Number Number two, eight, two. Number two, zero, zero. Number one, five, four. Thank you. And remember, you can donate again if you've already given. I see that happening a lot tonight. Let's start here with number one, one, five. Number one, three, zero. Number two, six, seven. Number one, zero, eight. Number two, one, three. Number one, zero, six. And over here, we have number one, six, seven. Three. Thank you so much. And I see number 195 donating $250 doubled to become $500. Anybody else on the perimeters that want to raise that paddle up for $250 knowing we will double and match it? Thank you so much for the donations. Big round of applause for everybody at that level. You know, every dollar does count. No gift is too big or small, and we are learning more and more how important people coming together and making a difference is. We have now a very special surprise for everyone in the room tonight and for everyone at home and in the room. We have a chance for you to win. What's that? What did he say? A chance to win something? That's right, to win tickets to Sunset Supper coming up in August. Now... Here's what's going to happen. If you haven't donated yet at any of the levels, and by the way, if you did not hear a level that you wanted to donate at, if you missed a level, if you want to customize a level, please, upon checkout, make that known. Name the amount. Present your bid card to them. They will handle it. They'll take care of it. So any donations, don't worry. We'll find a way for you to give them. But at this level, this is so fun. Every donation made online tonight, over $50, where people were automatically entered to wear, win a pair of tickets to the party of the summer, we'll all admit, the Sunset Supper, right here, Friday, August 19th. 
And there's an amazing number of vendors uh, that are growing every day. So check that out online. You're going to want to go to this. It's amazing. So you're automatically entered for a pair of tickets. We are also going to enter all of you in the room for a different pair of tickets as well. Here's how it's going to work. Right now, just take, if you would like to donate one final $50 donation to be put into a raffle that we're going to draw right here tonight, and you might win two tickets to Sunset Supper, then raise your paddle up right now, and our volunteers will sweep the room and collect these cards from you right now. Here come our volunteers. Here here they come. I think we got Tiffany maybe to help, and you guys can help. Just grab those cards. Again, this will be a final $50 donation from you, but your card will be entered into a raffle that we're going to draw tonight to win tickets to Sunset Supper. As I said online, you're in too. A totally separate raffle for Sunset Supper tickets for everybody who donated over $50 tonight. We will let you know. We'll notify the winners on Monday who that is virtually. And in the room, as I said, we're collecting all of those cards. We're going to draw them at the conclusion of tonight's program. Again, this is a final $50 donation from you to be entered into this raffle that will come later. And if you change your mind, don't hesitate to wave that card around. We'll come and get it. And guess what? We'll recycle it for you. Take all the guesswork out. Hey, you know, folks, we truly appreciate everyone tonight opening their hearts and their piggy banks to support the heart of Seattle right here. All of you out there who are viewing and donating and sharing with your friends, you keep Pike Place Market strong. So thank you. Thank you, and thank you to everyone who's donated so far. We're really making our way towards our goal. And as I mentioned, don't forget to inquire with employers about corporate matching opportunities. If you work for a company that matches charitable donations, make the most of your gift and impact the Pike Place Market Foundation. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so great. Can we just give one final big round of applause for our entire Raise the Paddle, everybody who donated, everybody online, everybody who got in the raffle. It's all going to add up to a big, big number, and we thank you so much. And now it's time for us to find out a little bit about our Poet Laureate, Dre. Man. Take it away. First off, can we thank Ron for giving us that entire auction? That was incredible, holding it down. And thank you for every single person that is demonstrating your support for the market today. Le you know, this whole side, I just want y'all to get a round of applause for yourselves. I feel like y'all might have been getting left out over here. I want to show y'all some love over here too. Now, while those donations continue to come in, and as our headliner, Jeannie Rack, and her band starts setting up their performance from a new original song, we have a very special moment for all of y'all right now. We have our very own market, Poet Laureate, right here with us tonight. We're gonna welcome to the stage Audrey Kohler. Audrey is a published poet who works right here in the market. She's been monitoring the online chat, has also been observing our special evening here, and has an original poem to commemorate this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Audrey! Audrey, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you to all of you. It's honestly, truly beyond an honor. Um, you know, the Pike Place is, is such a place of heart and has been such a significant place to me. And it means a lot to give a piece of my heart back. So um, this is what I have uh, written for all of us this evening. Celebrate the market. We are open. Brick and music at the heart of an emerald city. Step into the shelter of the market front as a dove flies into its nest. Warm your spirit with harmonica sun in the air. No, you aren't dreaming. Snakes alive in bright suits and cats playing tunes. Pigs can fly with red wings and flower crowns too. A beautiful, clamorous fiasco. You are welcome here. Farm and art to table, there is always a chair for you. This is your community. We are your diligent neighbors. We fear no unexpected rain. We innovate. We gather. We banish the worry with persistence. And when you need us, we are here. Like any garden, we, ch we change the rain into brighter blossom. We love you like a tulip and iris bouquet. Let's ring the bell 
Now, my dear, it is time to celebrate. Oh my God, one more time, can we please get some noise for Audrey? Thank you so much. Uh, I get the privilege of knowing Audrey a little bit in that Unexpected Productions. We do a little improv together. So much fun, such a talented human being. All right, y'all, we have an incredible moment that we're about to share here together. If you don't realize that music is such a key part of the Pike Place market, experience, it's the root of Seattle culture. You know, I'm gonna give them a little time to set up because we're so thrilled to welcome to the stage this evening our headliners, all right? Yeah. Cool, perfect. We're gonna recognize, we're gonna bring to the stage our headliners for the evening, the longtime market busker who will be debuting a new original song for us right here tonight. Please make some noise for Jeannie Ray! Hi folks, my name is Jeannie Rock. Uh, my journey as a musician started here in the market about three years ago. I was an elementary school teacher and to make a little extra cash, I would you know, run down here after school for a half hour and play a set or two to get some groceries. Um, so I know how important it is to the market when it comes to giving folks a chance to survive on their talent. Um, so when the pandemic came and busking you know, took away our source of income, I knew I wasn't the only one struggling. So I started a busker relief fund and we actually managed to push funds out straight into the pockets of about 40 uh, market buskers a couple years ago. So thank you so much for being a part of the legacy of continuing, you know, a very democratic and, uh, you know, freeing way, simple way for folks to participate in their craft and bring joy to folks that are here in Pike Place Market. I'm going to play you a song that I wrote called Why. And Why is very simply a call to just be good to one another. Mmm, she's walking around the city, waits for it to turn to green. So what if God's almighty, we're just all that's in between? Caught up between giants who think they rule the world. She knows that they're all lying, oh it's one big blur. And no, people know. It's never what you haven't done, it's always what you do. And no, the people know. It's never what we haven't done, it's always what we do. So why? So why can't we just be good? Oh, why can't we just be real good? It's all my life I believed in doing right, in being alive. So why can't we be good? She's running into trouble. Things aren't what they seem. She just wants to be lovable, to be part of a team. Carry others on her shoulders. Love will break her back. She knows she's getting older. It's a well-worn track. Oh, the people know. It's never what we haven't done. It's always what we do. And no, the people know. Well, it's never what we haven't done. It's always what we do. So Expect the world to bend and sway Can we carry on this way? Do I think too much? <laughs> do I feel too much? When all you want to do is leave Don't forget to sit and breathe And I said, oh, the people know 
It's never what we have done. It's always what we do. Oh, the people know. It's never what we have done. It's always what we do. So. much. Oh Rack. my god, that was incredible. I don't know if y'all saw us over there. We were jamming, man. Aren't they amazing? I'm definitely feeling the love. It's never what we haven't done. It's what we do, baby. Yeah. Oh, make some more noise. Y'all yeah. are incredible. Chini Rack and Band. I can't believe that. Y'all were busking Way out to here. Go, rhythm section. That's such an amazing story. Drums and bass. From busking to breaking down the building. That was so fresh. Uh, Ooh, I, so I, I'm amazed at the level of talent in this community. You know, the buskers all are in this place every day. I'm amazed by what I hear. By the way, folks, I am told uh, that we have a grand total of how much money we raised tonight for the Pike Place Market Foundation. Uh, well, I could read it to you, but are you registered? Do you want to know how much we raised tonight? Well, okay, then I'll tell you on online, thank you so much. Our goal was $350,000, and thanks to you online, thanks to you in the room tonight, all the pre-solicitations, everything that we accumulated and collected tonight, we raised a grand total of $355,892! We did it, thanks to you. Thanks to you. We'll get that one up. Wow. That's incredible, y'all. I am so grateful for the generosity of this community right here. For 115 years, the citizens of Seattle and this region have stepped up time after time for the market. And it's our turn to keep the market strong and now to actively steward it for generations to come. You know, there's still time, as we said, to support Pike Place Market. Donations made after this event via mail or online will help to make that number rise even higher. We'll have the event available online to share with your friends on Facebook and YouTube. So please encourage everybody you know to tune in and help support the incredible community of Pike Place Market. And as I said, don't forget to talk to your employees about corporate matching opportunities. Uh, online, in the room, and online, thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate the market. You are making making the future of Pike Place Market bright. You are all amazing, and thank you for tuning in and giving generously tonight. I have been your auctioneer and host, Ron Heavy. And I'm Dre Anderson, and thank you so much for celebrating the market. And now, it's time for dessert. Let's have Let's some go. dessert. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Share the link. <laughs>